Hello and welcome everyone. This is Ehsan Ashfa. Today I am starting a new series of tutorials in which I will teach you how to conduct any scientific research. In this first tutorial I will show you how you can initiate or start planning the research project and then in the later videos we will discuss the later stages of the research project. So without wasting any time let's start and discuss all these steps you need to initiate a research project okay so the first step is that when you decide to research the first thing required is that you need to choose a topic in your field that interests you the most if you are a student you will either be assigned a topic by your teacher or you will have to choose yourself according to your field you can take help from different online sources, your friends, your class fellows and teachers regarding the latest and hot research topic in your field. Remember that it is a very very basic and a very important step and later on all the other steps and all the other phases will actually depend upon this one. So if you correctly choose or you choose the right topic it will actually help you in moving forward more efficiently and more effectively so this is the first step you need to choose a topic that interests you the most okay after you identify the topic of your interest next you need to identify a problem or a research question that is needed to be addressed in order to fill some gap in the existing body of knowledge and yeah you can have more than one research questions for your study when you are selecting a problem to be addressed, do a brief literature research to familiarize yourself with the information that is already out there and what unanswered questions are there. Plus, make sure that you have necessary resources to address that problem. And when you do, once you do that, finally, must consult with some seniors and professors before finalizing your research question so this is the second step that you need to in the previous step you actually identified a topic and when you studied some literature and some information about the topic in the next step you need to identify the problems and the research questions that exist in that topic right then move forward okay so once you finalize your topic gather as many related research papers of conferences and journals as you can read all these literatures including the latest ones and also those old articles that established the field from which you selected the topic although it is impossible to read every paper but read as much as you can so that at least you have expertise on the topic and also make sure that you don't repeat an experiment that is already done because there is no point in reinventing the wheel if something is already done you there is no value or no point in doing or proving it again so that will become useless so you the one of the most important use of literature review is to actually identify and to know that what is already done and how it is done Try to make a brief summary of every article you read. This will help you later when you do writing for the publication. And also, you would not be needing to read the whole paper repeatedly if you require to read it later. All this literature review will come the basics of your current or your proposed research work. Right? So this is the third stage. In the first stage, you selected a topic. In the second stage, you selected or identified a problem or research question. And then in the third stage, you perform a comprehensive literature review of the related research work that is already done. Okay. So step four, revise and confirm the identified problem. Make sure your research problem or research questions are clear, specific and identify the target group of participants. After reading the literature more thoroughly, you will likely need to revise your research question to encompass all that you have read. At the end of that, where if using your knowledge, make your research questions more specific. This is the fourth step. This is actually refining your research question and the identified problem. And then the last stage of a last step of initiating a research project is outlining your research plan. The last step in the last step, you need to outline your research plan, which will work as a roadmap for your further 
uh, study. Remember that finally you have to publish your work. If you, even if you are doing research as a compulsory part of getting some graduate or postgraduate degree, you must ultimately publish your work. While outlining your research plan, you must be clear about the experiments contributing to answer the research questions, the data collection and that how it will be and in which form the data will be collected, what type of statistics will be used and how the results will be evaluated and presented. These all questions needed to be answered. If you have answers to these questions, you are done with your research plan and hence phase one of your research is completed. So this was about initiating or planning and the steps involved in initiating or planning a research project. In my next video, we will be discussing how you can design and how you can perform the experiment for your research and what are the preliminaries and compulsions for performing and designing a research uh, experiment. So stay tuned in the next video will move forward well thank you very much for watching my video please do not forget to subscribe my youtube channel for further relating videos and thank you very much if you have any questions or any queries you can write me down under this video i'll try my best to answer them thank you very much